Hello, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Gemini and it's for March onwards 2024. I hope you all enjoyed, my dear viewers. I hope it helps you, supports you, understand why certain things are happening, what happens next, what are important factors for you to know, and everything else. So we'll start first by welcoming each and every one of you and let's see what the messages are. Thank you all for being here. And the first message is this one, which is triple spiral. This is all about life's learning, um, life's lessons. It shows to me that listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons, that's where you're at now. So whatever is happening that may be a little bit out of your control, it's happening so that you can go through um, learning. I feel like you are going to be transcending and knowing where you stand from now to May. By May, you'll know exactly where you're at. I feel like there's going to be a lot of not only communications, but signs for you to understand where you stand. Okay, let's have a look at the Sacred Forest message for all Gemini for March. And it says, yes, retreat. You are taking time out and spending quality time healing yourself or with someone that you love. And this is going to help you uh, go through a lot of self-healing, self-understanding, spending quality time uh, maybe with someone that you care, but ultimately this is transcending you to a high level. And I feel like from um, March to August, there's a lot of changes and a lot of information and a lot of insight coming your way that is going to give you a peace of mind, a lot of happiness and understanding who you are, where you're going and where you're at. This is amazing. Now, my dear Gemini, let's see four messages from the divine. So we've got one, then there was this one, two, okay, three and four and five. Wow. Okay, so it all came from one place, but that's what I was guided to do. So let us see what are the messages for March onwards. And we have... We have March itself. Like I said, March is going to impact you. March has already started you with this uh, journey of, of going through and learning and understanding where you're at and where you're heading. So March impacting you on a high level. Uh, it says psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Have faith in your intuition. It tells you things. It shows you in dreams. Just don't close your eyes to the truth. I feel like you have got psychic ability and you can do wonders with that. Knowing helps you, empowers you to be aware and to be prepared. Elephant, spiritual journey. You're going through a spiritual journey, just like this triple spiral says. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. You are going to gain so much wisdom with this. There is so much wisdom for you. And with tri triple spiral, because I feel like you are going to learn and you are going to appreciate what you're learning. What you're learning, you will appreciate. And that's going to help support you and give you power because knowing is power. And needing and not knowing where you stand, it takes your power away. So that's very important. So we've got the elephant. Now we've got the mice, which mice are all about family, situations with family. But there could be something negative here because with mice, there's always something negative. There could be health problems. There could be something. But discord among friends and family. Discord means things. There will be a problem. Sorry, I didn't see the word discord. So there could be some issues to do with family or friends. You might be going through not understanding each other or not being patient with each other and maybe uh, quarrels and disagreements with family or friends. And then we have a cracked cup, which is really not happy, uh, not a happy thing, not a very good thing. A cracked cup means that you're not getting uh, what you feel you rightfully deserve. And according to the tea leaf, it says dissatisfaction with life, not being happy. And I feel like this happiness, um, not being happy in life is due to not being able to get what you want. That's what it tells me. Not being able to get what you truly want and that is really affecting you and that might be affecting your personality around your family and your home and you become grumpy or upset or you know unhappy and when you're unha unhappy uh, of course uh, that's when problems happen because you become impatient and uh, 
and you know upset so the patience is gone the ha the happiness is gone so this needs treatment we'll find out what the universe because i feel like you are going through a spiritual journey and that is going to empower you understand where you're at now let's have a look at important factors two important major important matters for all gemini wow we have the four of pentacles unexpected large amount of money is being given to you you might either win this in a windfall this could be an inheritance but big money is coming that could change the foundation um, of your life where you live what you do it is changing in big time so big money play the lotto have a look at your money reading maybe you need to play some sort of a lotto lottery even if you play five dollars or ten dollars a month but i just feel like if you don't have a big inheritance that you're aware of uh, this is unexpected out of the ordinary money that is life changing foundation changing money it is hidden from you, you don't know and the moon is all about seeing the truth the moon is about seeing your path ahead and there's going to be a lot of clarity maybe the empowerment of money sometimes when you have a lot of money it gives you the power to be patient and look at things in a different perspective but i do feel like with the four of pentacles and the moon a lot of truth is being revealed at this point in time in march a lot of actually all the way to april there's going to be a lot of truth released and you're discovering it and you're finding out and ultimately that is going to help you know where you're going especially if you're dealing with cancer or anybody that has cancer in them or if you have cancer uh, within you the star sign cancer because i feel like something is getting revealed to you and you are going to know exactly what is coming ahead very interesting but oh, actually sorry i'll put this one over here here we go that's it now let's move forward to the next one and i'm going to take four of these four major important factors oh my goodness how they opened up <laughs> i wish you saw how they opened up right on my hand okay so we've got both of these and i'll just cut it let me just do this one second okay so i'll just take these two out wow and then i'll talk about them because otherwise i'll lose my train of thought now we have the seven of swords the seven of swords shows to me that there is something that you are trying to avoid at all costs, some truth, some 100% truth kind of a situation that you are trying to be in denial about. You're trying to turn your head um, away from it. You don't want to deal with it. And there, there's a good reason. You have a very good reason, although people don't understand the meaning of the Seven of Swords and the, the depth of it. This isn't because you can't walk away from something. You can very well walk away. But your heart is still not free. There's something holding, you're holding on to something that you truly care for. And the truth of the matter is that walking away could be hurting those that you care about. So sometimes the seven of swords becomes a sacrifice where you're sacrificing and closing your eyes to the truth, even though uh, it is painful but you're not ready to face up to the truth because the truth can be very painful that's the number one meaning and overall meaning and there is only one correct way of dealing with the situation is facing up the truth and taking the action regardless who you will hurt but that's not what the seven of swords is all about you procrastinate and you try to be in denial we all each one of us no matter how powerful we may be no matter what level of life or rank we're in we all go through this where we don't want to turn our backs on something we care about so we procrastinate and we keep struggling knowing this is the answer but not doing it so i feel like for that you do will you will be rewarded because you have the 10 of wealth and riches a life of wealth and riches is coming no matter what because it looks like this is destined for you a lot of money is destined for you and i feel like I feel like the truth is you're deep inside of your heart. You already know this. You already psychically know something big is coming your way. You know it, but you don't really care. You don't want to know. Maybe because deep inside you know it might come at a highly cost, a very high cost. You might, it might be at the cost of losing someone you love. So 
you're treading carefully and you're doing your best. That's all you can do. And that is wonderful because ultimately there's a lot of support. Talking about support, you've got the world. The world shows that you are going to be supported by your guardian angels. You are nurtured. You are going to be elevated and you are going to have great, not one, but many victories. And you are going to be transcending, transcended to a very high level of life. So I feel like with the wealth and the spiritual journey and you're supported, you're not alone, spiritual journey learning and the triple spiral teaching you life's lessons, ultimately you are destined for the greatest gift of all. The Ace of Cups is the greatest gift. This is going to uplift you to high levels. This could be the windfall behind everything. You see, this could be the greatest gift that gives you a windfall. This could be a greatest gift of all where it gives you a lot of money, but... I feel like having the Ace of Cups come up in your reading, it shows that it isn't just money that you want. I feel like you want more and something more than money, which is love. I feel you want to be loved unconditionally. Unconditional love is missing for, for most of you. Um, and money for the rest. So it's money and unconditional love together. And I feel like you are going to be getting this because you are destined for a lot of happiness and because of the world is here the world gives you everything from love and money and freedom and elevation and rank uh, ranks you up and a lot of victories so you will get it all when something ends you've got to know that and i'll find out what when i clarify okay let's see what else they want to tell us my dear gemini let's have a look three more messages Wow, the Ten of Cups, what a beautiful message. You know how I was talking about wealth? You got the Ten of we uh, ten of Wealth. <clears throat> now we have, <coughs> excuse me, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is about happiness, family, unconditional loving, home, having your dream life, dream home. You're waiting for that, to have the dog, the family, your own place, something you call home. And everything that comes with that happiness. So the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment to the highest level. Your own place. Your own home. Your own family. And that's what you are going to get. They are going to give you that too. On top of money. You are going to get both. And I feel like this could be the greatest gift of all. Now I understand it fully. Because they're teaching you life's lessons. Slowly. And while they're doing that. They're preparing. The, this is your, your destiny. Your guiding angels. Uh, preparing you for an amazing gift and the gift is two parts they will give you emotional fulfillment your dreams come true having your own home and your own family and they are going to give you wealth money big amount maybe to take you to the first level of buying your home but either way the spiritual learning that you're going for it's going to be a joyful one because it says not only wisdom um divine wisdom is going to be given to you joyfully learning life's lessons because you'll know you'll feel it that's why i said to your psychic your higher self is trying to tell you you are going to have it all everything that you are in need of now you are going to have it your own family your own home your own life and a lot of money so the greatest gift is going to be given to you without a doubt even though you're learning lessons now and it's very hard it's good to know that you are going to be getting it all of it everything Okay, that's amazing. Now, let's see the next one. And we have the two of wands. Some of you are really thinking deep about relocating, moving to a better place, to more established place or somewhere where you'll be more comfortable. Comfort is important here. Maybe to be closer to your work, to be closer, to be living in a better, better uh, circumstance. You are torn between two, whether to stay or leave, I feel. But ultimately, you are going to take... Uh, an offer an offer might come and that offer you won't be able to refuse you'll finally be able to relocate something's happening that you could be relocating and then finally um there could be sometimes when there is the mice situation and the cracked cup this can tell me that there could be family problems or issues with friends where you're living and those issues that happen where you might have quarrels and have some problems that happens for a good reason. Sometimes it's to elevate you, to be able to give you that push to move away and live your own play in your own place, in your own space. I feel like 
the problems with Maisia, um, the discord that's taking place between families and friends. And the cracked cup shows to me that you will be dissatisfied, unhappy where you're living, and you might be considering relocating. And as soon as an opportunity presents itself to you, you might say, yes, I didn't want to leave, but now I've got no choice. I have to go. So that's what I'm seeing with the two of wands. Okay. And then finally, the last one, there it is. You see what I was talking about? Being torn and not knowing what to do. I feel like you are going to take advantage of a situation very quickly. Something is coming. Being torn, the two of pentacles, the two of wands, being torn, whether you should stay, or whether you should go between two homes, two places, two residents. One could be the past, your family, your home, where you're comfortable, your friends. Some of you could be sharing with friends. Some of you could be in a comfortable neighborhood. Some of you could be, uh, you know, with family. You have one or two member family there that you don't want to leave. While you're in the midst of processing this, something big is happening. Maybe you're given a gift. Oh, my God. Maybe you are given the gift of money that you're able to go. Maybe you finally can able uh, buy your own thing. Maybe that's why, because of this money, you're able to leave and relocate and get the place that you love of your own, something of your own. Maybe you'll have the money because the money is coming. This could be, or there could be someone offering you this. Either way, you could be relocating, and I feel like a great gift is destined for you, the greatest gift, and it's coming, coming very soon. So prepare for this. Um, this is incredible. You might be seeing it already. You must, you must be seeing signs, I'm sure, but it's so strong here. Um, let's finally have one of these important messages also. I should have taken that out from the beginning. That's too many. That's six of them. I need one. And there it is. This is the one. Okay. For all Gemini, it says, I'll just put my glasses on because <laughs> the writing is so small. It says, be honest with yourself. I guess being honest with yourself is going to give you the answer you need because you are torn between whether you should or you shouldn't being torn be honest with yourself and then finally you'll know that you need to make a better decision from where you are to where you should be going indecisiveness will come to an end because you'll finally be honest with yourself and also uh, situations here conflict is going to cause you know discord and uh, having problems where you're living or with your family or friends, that is going to be uh, helping you to finally establish the answer you want. Also, uh, money. The Two of Pentacles is money that might resolve a problem and finally give you access to a new place, considering a new place of living, um, moving to the next place, moving to a better place. This kind of discord that happens usually um, and being dissatisfied with life's uh, choices, maybe it's going to put you in a position where you might consider wanting to live on your own or relocate to a better place. That's what it looks like. So March could be bringing this, uh, these situations on and maybe these are going to be helping you decide where you're at and where you're leaving to. Now let's have a look at some two more messages for all gemini oh, i think something did open up yes the pendulum this is about being torn whether you should or you shouldn't and i've got the golden book okay so the pendulum shows that fluctuating income maybe your income is fluctuating it's not very stable and it looks like to me that new strategies might come up and might help you move, elevate you to um, a better level of understanding how to work with your income or your indecision you see your indecision because you're torn whether you should or not this could be about your work you might not be very happy where you're working or where you're staying or the discord with friends could be also where you're working not only at home i do feel like some of you might consider seasonal work you know work that's temporary and every now and then you can do it gives you extra money but there is a job change with a pendulum uh, changing your job making choices the pendulum again the, see that the two of pentacles making choices that's what i feel you're about to make some choices and now it's not clear what will make it clear perhaps some money that might come in that might help you be able to move perhaps that's number one the other factor could be 
the clarity that the major arcana, the moon, brings and shows you the path and shows you the way, what is the best course of action, what to do, how to move forward, how to be able to do it with support, how to do it with help of the universe. The universe is going to help you. You're not going to be left alone. You are going to be supported big time. I feel like this greatest gift is going to be the gift to take you to the next level and to give you the freedom that you truly deserve. There is an era, an end of an era. With the um, with the world, I see an end of an era, an end of a chapter, and the beginning of a new life, a new life that will elevate you to high levels. So remember that. You're not um, alone. You are going to be supported big time. Okay. So that was the pendulum. And now... The book. The book is all about paperwork. For some reason, you might need to do a lot of paperwork, contracts, signing contracts, learning as you go. Some of you could be getting a new job and learning as you go. But there could be a career in writing, writing books, freelancing. That could be another one. Taking a class, education, law. There's a lot happening here with the Golden Book. A lot to consider, a lot of paperwork. Okay, so now I'm going to do two more messages from the animal spirit the truth all gemini we've got one a rebirth is destined a new beginning a new life a new lease of life so many changes bring on a new lease of life you need to declutter you need to let go of the things that you need to clear out the clutter there's a lot of clutter a lot of things you don't need maybe you need to clear them out you need to come to terms with transcending to a higher level of life as a rebirth a lot of changes in your life are taking you to this new beginning a new way of life that's why we've got the world an end of an era and the beginning of another a new lifestyle that's what's coming that's what you don't know about perhaps perhaps you don't know this is happening but you've got to remember you've got to remember no matter what happens right no matter what happens the truth of the matter, you just have to be honest with yourself to finally reach to that understanding of finally, you don't have to, um, you know, you are going to be perhaps relocating because you're destined for a new beginning. You are going to have a lot of money, wealth, generations of money, and you are going to have your dream home, a dream life, a lot of fulfillment here, maybe even buying your own place. So um, it looks to me, like something wonderful is about to take place for you and you are going to be loving what is coming even though now you can't see it you can't see any of this but you've got the power the psychic power to see it now let's have a look at um, your love life let's see what that's all about okay so did something open up yes so healing okay so the first thing i see here healing and what else for Gemini? I'll talk about the healing a little bit more. Just bear with me. Let go of control issues. And one more. Gemini March. And this is it. Okay. Reconciliations. Okay. So it shows to me that there are situations that need healing. Healing number one. For some of you, it's to do with your love life. Healing is needed. For others, there could be healing family matters. Your love life benefits as you forgive your um, parents, your partner, your circumstances. There's, there's need for forgiveness, that's for sure. And then we've got let go of controlling issues. Trying to control situations will not help. It says allow situations to unfold naturally. Let them happen naturally. And if you're impatient, you're saying, well, I've waited for so long. How much longer do I have to wait? Impatience causes problems, causes um, discord causes uh, arguments with people that you care about hurtful words you've got to be careful let go of control any controlling issues can only do damage nothing more so letting things unfold gently so that there won't be harsh hard you know um, harsh words being said to those that you care about and so that there won't be any kind of you know disagreements anger let go of controlling issues and let things naturally unfold. That's very important. Now, the other one is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning in your life. There could be a soulmate coming. You're reconciling. For some, is reconciliation from someone that you haven't talked to or you were angry with. 
um, someone from the past returning in your life. That's very interesting. This could be someone that could be a new love, for example. Don't forget at the end of the reading, we are going to go through and see the star sign combination of the person you are going to be dealing with and who they are and how they are um, <clears throat> in relation to you, how, who you're consumed with in March, who you're dealing with, who you're meeting in March, all that. We'll see who is going to be the main one um, uh, really taking your attention. Okay, finally, I'll just see uh, one more message here and then I'll clarify the cards. We've got the message here. It says, beware of what you are projecting. What you are projecting, what you're showing out there for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. Okay, so what does this mean? It means you have to be careful what you're putting out there because there, there are qualities that you admire in someone. Those qualities you admire in that person, they are both. You both possess them. You both have those qualities. But also the qualities that you don't like in that person. What you don't like in that person, they are also your own reflection. So you too possess, you too have those uh, qualities that you don't like in one person you've got them too so take the good and the bad in every person in every situation and try to heal it rather than um, battle it or trying to control it trying to change it try to understand it and see how to deal with this rather than fighting because fighting and arguing and trying to control situations we can't change situations situations or people cannot be changed you can only work to meet halfway that's the only way of success because you're both alike in some ways. So whatever you're projecting, they're saying, and whatever you don't like about them, there's things that they don't like about you too also. So you've got to meet halfway and try to see how to make it work. It's easy to sabotage and ruin something and let go. It's very easy, but it's harder to make it work by putting yourself in that person's shoes and seeing how to deal with this, how to make this, how to make this person comfortable and how do I make myself comfortable so that we can reach to a resolution. That's the thing that's very important here. Now I'm going to, going to clarify. Let's clarify. First and foremost, we know the happiness that's coming. We know there's abundance coming. We know there's a rebirth. We know all about this and I'll find out about more about this in a moment. I want to know about this truth that you are trying to uh, avoid at all costs. What is this? The seven of swords for all for all Gemini. Okay. This is a situation about control. Something is causing you feeling as though you're not in power. Of yourself sometimes you feel as though there is something or someone controlling you to the point where it becomes unbearable something is overwhelming you you're doing too much of it could be a person it could be someone at work it could be just yourself you know a part of you that's very controlling that could be also this something you're doing excessive earth energy here virgo taurus capricorn it could be another part of you say you're a gemini with virgo just for example the virgo part of you could be the controlling one, the one that wants everything under their control and, and that's causing discord and problems. Whatever it is, you're doing something too much that you need to be aware of and you need to heal that within your life and within yourself, whether it's yourself or your life. You need to heal it. The truth of the matter also here looks to me like you will heal and someone could be part of that healing. Somebody could help you, someone of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. So that's that one. There is an end of a chapter, as I said before, and there it is again. End of a chapter coming in your life. One chapter is coming to an absolute end. Okay, let's move on to the Ten of Cups. Let's see this happiness that gives you your dream. What is this about? Then I'll do the Ten of Wealth with the Four of Money. Okay, I'll do that later. I'll just do the Ten of Cups. What is your dream life and when is that coming? How much longer must you wait? Okay, so you're taking a stand and fighting for what you believe in you have you feel like you've sacrificed but i don't think you have i think you need to sacrifice where you put your interest aside and do for the sake of someone else and think of that someone else i feel like you're fighting and trying to defend that you know your your position and what you believe in and in reality it shows that you need to sacrifice and you put your interest aside and do for the sake of someone sake of someone 
putting you aside and doing for the sake of someone and trying to be understanding rather than fighting and setting boundaries. Boundaries are needed to be set if you're doing something excessive and you're being inconsiderate, maybe in some way. Maybe because you are not able to make the right choices because you feel trapped, you, you don't have the power. I feel like money is going to give you power, a financial support, and someone wonderful will give you the power to be able to move freely, to also get what you want, the dream life. The dream life is destined. Nothing can be further than the truth. You are going to have your justice. You are going to have a life of freedom, wealth, and happiness and your own place. You are going to have that. You just need to know, and until you get there, you you need to set boundaries to yourself and you need to sacrifice for the sake of others and see what they come where they're coming from and not always think that no i am right and everybody else is wrong this shows there is something controlling something a little bit out of out of the ordinary that need that you need to heal from healing is needed i feel like you are going to be empowered with this learning uh the triple spiral the elephant this is a learning path for you to take you transcend you to high levels you will learn from this you will expand from this and no matter what happens in the process even if you have to leave a place that you really care about end of a chapter it is part of your learning process let's have a look at the money now oops bear with me my dear viewers okay so the card that fell out is wishes and dreams nine of cups wishes being established desires being established as i was talking about this money so it's this money that i'm trying to work out what it is this is a lot of wealth and i got wishes and dreams something you've always wished for to have a lot of power a lot of money that's that one i'll just take two more cards because one flew out in regard to both of these for all gemini the truth you've had sleepless nights you have got anxiety you have been worried you've been working hard and you're not getting exactly what you want i feel like a lot of money and a lot of wishes are going to be coming true for you if you're feeling guilt if you're feeling unhappy you can't communicate what you're deep inside feeling i feel like you are going to have a lot of healing hard work is going to pay off some intervention from from god from the universe from whoever you whatever you believe in angels that you believe in are going to grant you a wish and you are going to be wealthy i really feel like your wish and your dreams are going to be bringing you a lot of happiness a lot of wealth a lot of money quite honestly i really feel like health wealth and money i'll just put this here so you can see this happiness wealth money and wishes being granted my dear gemini so just a little bit of patience i know it's hard to imagine what i'm talking about at this point in time because i can see there's a lot of anguish and a lot of pain sleepless nights and worry there's a lot of that trying to control situations and not being able to things going out of your hand and needing to sacrifice and maybe you're hurt and you're so much hurt that you don't want to sacrifice you already feel like you're sacrificing so much so it isn't easy to sacrifice but i do feel like your wishes are going to be granted a little bit of patience that's all it's all you need a little bit of patience i feel like um a little bit of patience everything will be okay now let's move on uh, let's move on to the next level which is uh, the clarity uh, the truth about the moon and showing you the path let's have a look oh that's very sad it shows to me that something is going to end it was a karmic lesson and it's absolutely ending there could be someone inspiring someone like um, water energy pisces water energy someone that might inspire you help you move forward uh, or you might be needing their support where something is coming to an end um it looks to me like this is all preparing you for a new beginning all preparing you for a new beginning um i'll just see who this person is i'll just clarify this person i want to see if there's an end of a person that you're with or this person is inspiring you uplifting you temporary just to release you from this painful ending let's see the truth about the page of cups for all gemini yes there is a lot of arguments a lot of disagreements like i said the, like they said with the mice a lot of discord between friends lovers family there's a lot of issues ultimately even though there are quarrels and disagreements there is going to be an ending 
this ending is going to be you are going to be supported by someone to uplift you and you are destined for a lot of blessings coming in your life so even though it looks very hard there is a new beginning and you are going to be nurtured and given a lot of uh, nurturing abundance of affection and love from your guiding angels to support you to move forward don't forget where there is arguments and endings there are reconciliations also so you don't have to worry too much about that don't forget you have the greatest gift of heavens that will give you absolute fulfillment in every way. But you have to, if you need to sacrifice for the sake of someone, you need to do that. We can't deny that's what being said here. Sacrifice may be needed to get you to the next level. Sacrifice, putting your interests aside for the sake of someone. Very important. Okay, so um, happiness is determined, uh, is, is, I mean, sorry, distant. And look what's at the end. This four of pentacles. Wealth and money. Unexpected coming. Uh, finally, I want to know about these decisions. Oh, no. I'll find out about the end of this chapter. The world. Let's see what the world is all about. For all Gemini. Okay. It looks to me like there could be um, a new change coming in your life maybe a new person earth energy very strong because we've got the earth energy here you see the earth energy now it comes twice someone of earth energy very supportive and someone fire energy very supportive earth energy being virgo taurus capricorn fire energy sagittarius aries leo these two people are going to be intervening in your life and bringing you a lot of support to uplift you to the next level that's what it shows here something hidden from you that is going to help you understand that there could be a relocation that's what the two of wands is all about there could be a relocation this is what's hidden this is what you don't believe or maybe contemplate you are going to be moving you're destined to be moving to another place and i feel like the nurturing power of the um of the empress is going to help you move forward without any hesitation now my dear viewers, I've taken so long. The video has become so long. Please support me by watching it all the way to the end without stopping it. That means a lot to me because I'm not supposed to make them this long. So I really appreciate your support. The other thing is, let's see who is the person or maybe the two people that you are consumed with. Their star sign combination. Wow, we got Libra. One of them is Libra. They might have Libra in them. Double Libra. Wow. In March. We got Aquarius, air energy. Mm. My dear Gemini, wow. And then there's these two. Okay, let's see what they are. So we've got Leo and we've got Scorpio. So you are consumed with Leo, Scorpio, but more air energy. Someone that has Aquarius and somebody that has double Libra in them, that's for sure. So Libra the most, you are very well consumed. You might meet someone that's Libra. You might meet an earth energy that has Libra. You might meet a fire energy um, like Leo. The sun is the rule of Leo. Uh, that has uh, a lot of Libra in them, possibly. Or Scorpio. Or Aquarius. So you are going to be dealing with two people, I feel. Uh, very much so. Maybe uh, these are families. So somebody's got Leo in them and uh, Scorpio, water energy. Uh, I do feel like uh, Scorpio... Um, I do feel like uh, Libra is going to be the strong one here that you are going to be dealing with on a high level. Somebody that has Libra in them, which are, which you need fair and justice. So you're very much involved in this. Um, Aquarius could be someone that you might be dealing with also. Uh, could be a family member or somebody that you're feuding with. Family here. Scorpio could be family also. Very strong. Leo. And trying to sort of uh, find, you know, the problem. But I do feel fire energy. Leo is going to be very strong here. Uh, um, like I've got Libra very strong and then I've got Leo. Why? Because I feel like there was very strong fire here, very strong fire energy. But the earth energy is the strangest part that didn't come up. This earth energy, it might be some Some of you might, the majority might have a lot of um, earth, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn within, within you. Or this person might come a bit later on because they come as a healer to heal you, this earth energy I'm talking about. They come a bit later on to uplift you and take you to the next level. Maybe you haven't met this person or maybe you're working with this person or maybe when you're moving, you're meeting this earth energy. But um, without a doubt, Libra was there. So this is Libra. There is someone that's going to give you fair and just. They are going to be very fair with you. I feel like this person um, is going to impact your life on a grand scale. That's why they double. I always ask 
our guardian angels to give me double when they want to emphasize on something and make it like really this is the one uh, that you'll be dealing with the most you could be fighting with someone who's a libra but what i'm saying is that they will, they will impact your life in march and you go well with libra because you you are on the same level unless you have earth in you then of course the libra wouldn't go well um, you've got Aquarius also. Some of you are dealing with Aquarius, which is another air energy like you. You are air energy, Aquarius and Libra air energy. So you blend well together. You do need Earth to make you stable. And there could be Earth in, in you know, most of like in, in yourself or in the person that you're dealing with. There is fire energy here that gives you a lot of warmth. Uh, and there is water energy here that you sometimes can connect with if you have cancer within you. If you have water energy within you, like uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer within you, you can relate to. Otherwise, you'll find it very difficult to, to deal with water. Water and air don't go together. Unless the water energy is double water, they might be Scorpio with Cancer. You might have Cancer or Scorpio in you or Pisces, and then that works well. I do feel like you are consumed with two people. You're in collaboration. A lot of communications are going on. You want to stabilize something in your life. You want to control a situation in your life and you're finding it very difficult. I also know that there's this person who wants their freedom. Someone that has maybe Aquarius in them. They could be water energy. They, they, they need, they might have fire energy within them. Also, they might have Leo in them. They're a bit controlling their, in their own way, but they want their freedom because they might have Aquarius in them. They don't want to settle. They don't want to, um, you know, um, what's the word commit to something so they want to live freely they want their freedom and i feel like this could be a situation where you might be um, trying to tackle and there might be someone on your side someone of libra could be on your side someone that has a lot of libra which you will go well together and um, this person could have fire in them which gives you a lot of warmth a lot of understanding and you will love that but the scorpio here i feel like it's someone that could be advising you it could be a family member that you're consumed with uh, scorpio with leo um, I do feel like someone that might be Leo with air energy uh, that you might be having problems with talking a lot about these matters where situations, there's a lot of arguments and a lot of issues. I feel like they are going to get better and better. I feel like justice will prevail and I feel like someone is going to be very supportive. And I feel like if you have Sagittarius in you, also, someone Sagittarius is going to be supporting the situation big time. Or they could be Leo also, fire energy, because we've got the Leo out here. as somebody that's going to be helpful, supportive to take you to the next level. But we'll find out more as the next month comes. Do let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Please do watch it till the end in support of me. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't in support of me. It's absolutely free to do either thing. Whether you're subscribing or seeing the video doesn't cost you a thing, but they are very supporting me. You're paying back, sort of like, not paying back, but I mean, that's the only support that I ask for. I don't ask for anything else. Please be mindful of that. I don't do readings and I don't sell anything. So if anybody wants to take money from you, be aware that everything in this channel is free. The only support I ask is for uh, subscribing and also um, watching the videos till the end because some videos, they go too long and, I, and I, I suffer because of technical matters. So my dear Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it supports you, understand where you're at. And most of all, when you are in anguish, you need to know what's coming and what's coming is spectacular. You will have justice, you will have a lot of money and you'll have your dream home and dream life. So even though now you can't see it, your psychic power is trying to tell you, maybe it's a limbo, jumbo, you can't work it out. So let me be the one to tell you, there is a great future for you waiting. Now you can't see it, but it's worth waiting for. So don't get too angry, too sad. Be a little bit patient and you'll see things will be moving. Try to sacrifice and try to be a bit understanding if you can in some situations. And that is the end of the reading. I wish you a lot of blessings, a lot of love and light and a lot of truth. Namaste.